Welcome back. Now I'm sticking with the whistleblower policy. Some lawyers are worried about the lack of a legal backing for the policy. Two senior lawyers share their views with Law Weekly. Well, I think generally speaking, the policy on whistleblowing is a positive policy, you know, for proper and good governance, not just for purposes of effective anti-corruption war, but for even effective and efficient governance is a good policy. But, you see, when you import this system, you have to import, import it in a whole, not just in a part. Yes. By the time you do that, all you need to do is to introduce the bill to the National Assembly. This country is a very complex one. And unfortunately, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people in governance see themselves as bigger than the government. And it's not also bigger than the people, and it shouldn't be so. When leaders begin to see themselves as servants of the people, then they will know that things have to be done properly. All right? If there is a law protecting the whistleblowers, anybody who flouts that law can then be prosecuted for offending against the provisions of the law. I believe all that the government needs to do, by way of an executive bill, is to send the bill to the National Assembly and then urge the National Assembly to pass the bill into law as early as possible. Whistleblowing is not really out of place, but why must you attach whistleblowing to remuneration or gratification? Because, you see, what you're then now doing is, you're also encouraging people to also partake in loot. It is my civic duty to blow the whistle on someone if I find that, because it's, it's in a criminal system, to blow the whistle on someone but not to blow the whistle on the person based on what I stand to benefit from the state. It is wrong, and we should condemn it. Look at, if I fall out with you in a given situation, and perhaps we have been doing things together, or maybe you have been giving me money as a politically exposed person who has looted the treasury, and for some obvious reasons, we now fall apart. It's an opportunity for me to blow the whistle on you. And then they say you now compensate me, not taking the conclusion that before blowing the whistle, I've been benefiting from you. So it could also be a path to vendetta. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sick, it's a sick, I, for me, I speak for myself. I, I, I'm not too comfortable with the way and manner we're going about it. Whistle blowing is, is one civil responsibility, it's your duty. If you find the commission of a crime or someone has committed a crime, your duty bound to inform the state is your duty. You must inform the state. But now it has now gotten to a point where a whistleblower's identity is blown open by the state that ought to protect the whistleblower. Even if you stand to benefit, the mere fact that you are a sitting duck and your identity has been blown open, it means you can no longer blow whistle. 